With the 2023 C8 Z06 being officially announced back on October 26, the automotive world has been going crazy. The new Z06 is getting a ton of hype and rightfully so. It has a 5.5 liter flat plane crank, putting out a mind boggling 670 horsepower with a 0 to 60 in just 2.6 seconds. And while those are some insane figures, where does that leave the base Stingray? My name is Max and in this video we discuss 5 reasons to buy the C8 Stingray over the Z06. Reason number one, price difference. Prior to the announcement of the C8 Z06, the 2022 Stingray was the latest and greatest Corvette money could buy. If you are lucky enough to be paying MSRP, it will still cost a pretty penny. The base 1LT coupe starts at $62,195, and with added options can cost north of six figures. There has been nothing set in stone for the price of the Z06 just yet, but one can assume around a $25,000 to $30,000 increase in base price. That is not to say it won't be worth it, as the Z06 looks like it is still a bargain considering the performance you are getting. The new Z06 rivals supercar competitors for a fraction of the price, but on that same idea, the Stingray is a fraction of the cost of what the Z06 will be, and you will still get more than enough performance. Again, this is not saying the Z06 won't be worth the cost by any means, but paying 1.5 times the price of the Stingray is something to consider. Reason number 2. Wait Time Although it was just a few weeks ago that the Z06 was announced, it will not be available until the summer of 2022. The current Stingray is about a 12 to 18 month wait and being conservative, the Z06 will be the same. With some dealerships still not taking reservations on the Z06, most consumers of the Z06 will not get their car for at least a year and a half, if not longer. 18 months from now is a pretty hopeful timetable for the Z06 and I would certainly predict and expect longer. On the other hand, if one were to place a deposit on the Stingray, they'd probably get their car months and months before they would be able to attain a Z06. That is not to say the Z06 isn't worth the wait time for some, however, I would guess the majority of people would rather wait half the time for a Stingray. Before we get into reason number 3, I would really appreciate it if those of you enjoying the video took the time to hit the like and subscribe button, it really goes a long way especially for a small channel like mine. Reason number 3, Similar Aesthetic Appearance Before everyone rushes to the comments to tell me I know nothing about either car and don't understand the differences, I would like to make one thing clear. Those of you watching the video and car enthusiasts in general will easily spot the differences on the Z06 compared to the Stingray. But if you took a non-car person and showed them a C8 Stingray on a Thursday and a C8 Z06 on a Saturday, and then the following Monday you asked them to say what they saw, they would tell you that they saw two of the same amazing beautiful Corvettes. I understand that the new Z06 is wider, has huge side intakes, the grille is different, we've got bigger wheels, bigger brakes, and much more. I also will admit to you that the C8 Z06 looks drastically different from the base model when comparing it to previous generations. If you look at the base C7 and compare it to a C7 Z06, they look extremely similar and the C8 looks to put an end to that, especially when adding the Z07 package to the new Z06, the differences become more apparent. I am simply making the point that non-car people would most likely not be able to tell the difference. So if you wanted something that would be a drastically new car from an appearance standpoint, that simply is not the case because the Z06 is based on the base model Stingray. This is not to say the Z06 is not a superior car. The idea is that a casual everyday person wouldn't be able to tell the difference simply by the appearance of the car. By example, the same thing goes with the Mustang GT and EcoBoost, or the Camaro RS versus the SS, or even with an extreme example if you looked at a V6 Challenger and a Hellcat. Obviously, under the hood is a different story, but by and large, the look of the car remains similar. Reason number 4. Save the Z06 for the track. While the newly revealed Z06 will surely be a fun car on the track or on the road, I would like to make the point that this is an extremely track focused car. I have heard the term street legal race car when referring to the Z06 and that is a fair statement. It is simply wild the way the car sounds and seems to accelerate. And for those who can afford it and are willing to wait, they will have a great time driving this car on the road. However, the Stingray is a much more practical daily driver. Whether it be gas mileage or overall comfort level, the Stingray is a fun car that can be used as a grocery getter as well. And for those wanting to drive their car at the track, equip the Z51 package to the Stingray and you will have a blast. You turn your 490 horsepower car into an even bigger beast with bigger brakes, better tires, stiffer suspension, 
an exhaust that adds 5 horsepower and much more for $6,300. You now have a 495 horsepower Corvette that does a consistent 2.7 second 0 to 60 time that can still be driven daily easily. Reason number 5, the Z06 does not take away what the Stingray is. The Stingray itself is a beast. 490 horsepower and a 2.9 second 0 to 60 time is still outrageous. As previously mentioned, this can be upgraded to 495 horsepower and a 2.7 second 0 to 60 time with the $6,300 Z51 package. It's clear the Z06 is in a class of its own, but the base Stingray is still no joke either. And there you have it, those are 5 reasons to go for the C8 Stingray over the Z06. If you did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, and I will see you guys on the next one for more content. Peace.